hi guys welcome back to the channel I hope everyone had a safe and blessed day today I'm gonna be sharing a recipe for brown stew chicken and I'm gonna serve it up with some vegetable chow mein here I have some chicken drumstick nicely washed and I have here some salt thyme red bell pepper onions tomato I have here some crushed garlic, some fresh celery stock from my garden, green onions, and some hot pepper. I have a flavorful one here cut up and one maraviri. All pepper have different flavor, so I like to change up the pepper flavor sometimes or add different ones. I have here some black pepper and some gravy browning. So I'm gonna share some magic here now. We're gonna add all these ingredients to our chicken and we're gonna make a different version of a brown stew today. So in the chicken, we're gonna go in with the salt, enough to taste, and I will leave all the measurement and ingredients that I'm using today in the description below. Some black pepper. And we're gonna go in with a good portion. We're gonna go in with our thyme, and I'm using the fine thyme, and I like to put in some of the stem in there, because that adds extra flavor as well. If you don't have fresh ingredients, you can also use dried ingredients as well, but fresh ingredients always bring out a lovely flavor. So now I'm gonna go in with my onions, bell pepper, and tomato. I'm doing the stew a little bit different. We're gonna add our green seasoning. This is extra seasoning I'm adding, and my green seasoning is made up of broadleaf thyme, fine thyme, garlic, pepper, and green onions. We're gonna go in with some uh, celery stock, green onions, and the hot pepper. I'm just gonna put aside the garlic. All that good stuff. And now we're gonna go in with our gravy browning, and I'm using Mr. Gouda's brand. We're gonna go in with about a tablespoon, and this is very, very strong. So you wanna mix, and then if you need to add some more, you can go ahead and add as you mix. So I'm gonna go in with my hands here and mix all this flavor together. Mm, look at that. So the vegetable and everything, is getting all the seasoning on top of it and you should smell my kitchen right now amazing aroma right now so i'm gonna leave this to marinate about half an hour to an hour and then i'll come back and move on so after an hour my chicken is well marinated along with all the vegetables and ingredients that i'm adding today I am heating up some oil just a little bit. I just added the chicken to the pan. I'm gonna brown them up nicely on both sides and then we're gonna add them back to all this beautiful ingredients that we had the chicken marinating in to create that delicious stew. There are so many ways that you can make your stew. Once it's delicious and full with flavor, you can change it up as many ways as you like. So in the pan with a little bit of the oil I was cooking the chicken in, I added my crushed garlic. And we're gonna go in with the chicken now. We're gonna add it back to the bigger pot. And I have a nice brown color on the chicken. That would add extra flavor to the stew. And 
then we're going to go in with all this delicious goodness. This is the thyme, onion, celery, pepper, and all that good stuff. So now that we have all the flavor in the pot, we're going to give it a nice mix. Mm. Smell of goodness. And I'm going to add here, I have some Chinese spice and some allspice powder. Into the pot, we're going to go in with some warm water, about a cup and a half to make sure that we're cooking the chicken properly. And we're gonna bring this to a boil on medium heat. And I have one more ingredient to add and I'll taste for enough salt the next time we check on the pot. So my brown stew is looking amazing. It smells so good. And at this point, you can add a little bit of sugar or ketchup to give it a nice sweetness but today i'm gonna hype it up a little and add some barbecue sauce not a lot just a little just to add some smoky flavor to the brown stew about a tablespoon and this stew right here is done the barbecue sauce will also thicken up the gravy and this can be eaten with rice with bread and today I make it to go with my chow mein so now that this is done I'm gonna go ahead and start preparing the chow mein so in this pot with some boiling water I'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt and I'll add my imam chow mein I'm making today and this is 100% vegetarian as you can see right here so for all my vegetarian friends, I have your back today as well. So my chow mein noodles is done. I'm going to strain it and then we're going to start putting a vegetable chow mein together for all my veggie friends. I have all the fresh veggies and ingredients here that I'm adding to the chow mein. I have here some flat leaf parsley, green onions cilantro, onions, some celery leaves, red bell pepper, lots of cabbage, and some carrots. Along with these, I'm gonna add some other spices and we will put together our vegetable chow mein for all my veggie friends. Along with all that veggie, we're gonna add some bok choy because it really enhanced chow mein and adds a beautiful texture and flavor to it. So in the pan, I added the carrots because it's the hardest vegetable that I'm adding today. We're gonna go in next with the onions and the bok choy. The bok choy only look like plenty, but they will will down and turn less than half the amount I just added. So I'm gonna go in with the onions now. celery leaves and that's the fat stem celery I'm going in with the bell peppers and we're gonna cook all the veggies with a texture not too soft and overcooked and at this point here I'm gonna go in with my salt we have to flavor up the veggies. Some black pepper. Give it a mix. Mmm, the veggies smell so nice. Where is all the bok choy, guys? It's all wilted down, but it's gonna have a nice flavor. So I love that color that I'm seeing. And then we're gonna start adding the rest of our ingredients. 
I'm going to be adding here some all spice powder. I'm going to go in here with some uh, chow mein seasoning and some Chinese spice. I'm going to go in with my flat leaf parsley. And we're going to mix this up. And at this point here, I'm going to add some Chinese sauce to add some flavor and color to the veggies. So, about three heaping tablespoons of the Chinese sauce I'm adding. Depends on how much veggies you're using. You can average and all the other ingredients will be listed in the description box below. If this is a pot here of goodness and then I'm gonna add my noodles back to the pot now. The veggie is looking very, very nice. So I'm gonna add my chow mein now. We're gonna add our green onions and cilantro. Green onions. Cilantro would add extra flavor on our vegetable. Chow mein is ready. I just have to toss it up around a little. And it is nice and juicy and very, very colorful. So the dinner is ready. My brown stew chicken is nicely done. Look at that. I let it cook down with a little bit of sauce. And for all my veggie friends, I have here your chow mein noodles with all the beautiful crunchy vegetable inside. I'm gonna do a plate and let you guys know how everything tastes. So here is that vegetable chow mein and our brown stew chicken. We're gonna eat it together, but I do have for all my veggie friends and Jessica's gonna do the taste test today because she loves chow mein. Yes. So go in Jess. And she okay. has some sorrel drink to go with her dinner. Okay, let me get some chow mein. Mm -hmm. And she's doing the veggie version. Oh my god, that's good. I love the sauce. It goes so good with the chow mein. That's the sauce on the chicken? Okay. So good. Should I try the chicken? Of course. Well, okay. Wait. What if I have fish right there? Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's so good. Is it soft? Yeah. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah. So that is our brown stew chicken that can go with rice, anything, fried rice. It can work as a side for some pita bread or any roti even it can go to. You did a go good with. job, Mom. Thank you, Jess. So if you like this recipe, make sure to try it and press the thumbs up button. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Bye for now. Bye. Enjoy, Jess.